Oh, hey out there, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? That's right. We're in March. So let's do what I usually love to do every single month. Give you kind of that peek behind the curtain. We're going to try something different with this one. I'm not going to roll an intro. Welcome to the channel update for, you know, TCTBNL for March 2020. Now, usually, guys, I start it just like this if you're brand new to the channel. All my videos, I'm trying to get a new format. So we're going to roll with that today, all right? And I usually write down a whole bunch of stuff I want to talk about, so we're going to go through at least nine little items really, really quick. I promise you, it'll go quick. Well, depending if I get off on a tangent in the middle of one of these videos, because that's happened before. If you guys like what you're about to see in this video, please go ahead and hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated as a YouTuber. Trust me. Now, I want to say thank you. Seriously, thank you to anybody who has been viewing my videos. I was beyond astonished this last weekend when I took a look and I saw over the last 48 hours I crested 3,000 views. I'll be honest, normally I fluctuate between 2,000 and 2,500, lately it's been near 2,500, but to see it over 3,000 for a weekend just blew me away. I'm like, wow, what happened, you know? Who's watching what? And please keep watching it. But I want to say thank you, because without all of you, none of this would really be possible, and I wouldn't be having the success that I'm having. I know I say it in every single, you know, channel update that I do, but I firmly believe it that you guys help push me to do something better. Now, we are growing still. I am surprised when I look at the subscriber count. Some of you have been with me a long time. I still feel like I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. And it's weird to think that I'm a pro, well, I just crested, um, 2,500, you know, the other day, and 2,600 by the end of the month could be a possibility, and I'm just like, wow, you know, so thank you for your guys' belief in what I'm doing, thank you for your time, thank you for what you've given me. Now, I mentioned previously in the beginning of this video, I am going to have a change in my video formats. Normally, I do this little, um, little blurb in the beginning, roll an intro, have a great big youtube -y thing right in the front. You're fine, baby girl. Those who are familiar with my channel, the cuteness factor is up while I'm filming this one, and she's not in this video, so she has to make noise to make her presence known. But like I was saying, you got that youtube -y thing in the front that just seems to be pissing people off, so I'm dumping that. I really am, as opposed to going, look down here for a little channel watermark, you know, subscribe, do this. No one likes that in the beginning. I've heard your feedback. Some of you have been rather, rather vocal in leaving me comments, and other of you have been a little bit more um, interesting in going, please skip to this point in the video. You will thank me later. So I'm scrapping that intro format, and I'm going with something different, just rolling into here's the video, here's the stuff. I am trying to give you more value in each of my videos and cut down on the youtube -y stuff that everyone seems to hate. Alright, um, I'm going to make some changes to like my everyday carry videos. They're getting watched. I, I just, I, I feel like I want to add a little bit more different in there. So no, I'm not talking about doing a video daily. We're still going to do them at least once a month. And I know I've been telling you why I've been carrying certain things in there, but I'm, I feel like there's something missing. And when I figure it out, I'm going to update those EDC videos. Because I think they're pretty cool, I think they're pretty interesting, and it gives everybody else a different option of what to look at. Because not everybody can afford the same gear. Not everyone has the same spending limit as everybody else does. You know, there's that saying about buy once, cry once, but if you have a better half and you have children, you can't afford to drop, you know, 400 bucks on a zero tolerance blade. Nothing against the blades. I have just recently acquired one. I am in love with the thing, and it will be on my channel here very, very soon, but, you know, I, I'm trying to do things just a little bit differently. All right, next one up is the Step Parent Series. I know I haven't filmed a video in a while, and I'm going to be rolling those out. I am telling you guys, watch out for St. Patrick's Day, because the monkey is going to be joining me live on my um, live show, Beer, Blades, and Beards which I know is just a little silly having a minor on a, a show themed like that, but he really wants to come on and he really wants to talk about, you know, being a stepson, having a blended family, successes and everything else. He's really, really into this and hopefully it'll go a little bit better than the last video I tried to do with him when I tried to ask him some questions and he kind of broke down. 
But if that happens, I'm hoping all of you guys who are watching can probably give him a little bit of support that he can read in the comment section and pick himself up. Because I think this is a huge, huge, huge step for him. Moving on, I don't want to, you know, make another 20, 30 minute channel update video. Um, beard videos. Those seem to be bringing a lot of success to the channel, so we're going to do a little bit more. We, we really are. We're going to keep them rolling out because they're fun to film. It's fun to interact with the guys who own the company. It's so cool, like, when you can leave comments on a Facebook page, like, oh, my God, you're killing me with these deals. You know, and it's really cool to get people on the show and you see a whole different side of them. Like, I'm filming this one. I think it's March 10th. I, I, I think I'm filming this March 10th. Tonight, I've got Boston Mike from Boston Beard Co. going to be on the show. Finally. I've been trying to nail him down for over a year, and it's always been something happened, something happened, a scheduling problem, this problem. I finally got him. So it's going to be a fun night, especially if you know Boston Mike. Our senses of humor are kind of sync up, and it's going to be great. So it's cool to be able to get those guys on. It's cool to be able to watch you know, like their Instagram stuff. And I'm going to try to up those videos a little bit more and give you a little bit more of what I see in the company, not just... Oh, hey, I'm about to shoot this review in a moment for Jolly Old Fat Man, and this is a good reason what I'm talking about. There is such a human side to Bam that it's not even funny that makes me want to buy his products because I want to support what he's doing. You know, so I know when I give you background info on the company, some people don't like it, but it's I think it's important. But there I go, getting off on a tangent. I'm going to try to take those videos to another level, and I'm not sure how yet, but I'm going to get it done this month. So I'm going to screw around with some things, and hopefully you might like them. If you don't like what I'm doing, just, just let me know. All right? Now, next one up is book reviews. I'll be honest, I'm probably going to scrap them totally. Um, they've been fun to do, but it's just my opinion of what I read, and it's touched off in some certain instances a firestorm like the book. Um, matter of fact, look up top. There's a card for every single book review I've ever done. You're going to see the one that I did on what Falco with you know, the Vagos, the Mongos, Mongols, and whatever else it was. That touched off a lot of crap. The stuff with Jay Dobbins touched off a lot of crap. And don't get me started with Omarosa because, man, I wish I was monetized with what happened over that 72 hour period. But other than that, unless it's controversial, that videos don't get watched. So it's kind of hard when you upload a video and it hasn't crested 40 views in over a year. So I'm probably going to scrap those. I mean, I'll be honest with you, the ones I've been reading a lot recently are uh, more on the political side. And those are instantly demonetized because they have anything to do with the current administration. So it makes it just go, I'm great, I did this hour-long review and it's not going to do anything or go anywhere. But that's just my opinion. I'm not in this for the money, but it's like if I want to put up a video, I want to make sure that it has a fighting chance. And that's just how I feel, you know? All right. One of the last two items, uh, subscription boxes. I have toyed around with um, that one. It's like a knife of the month club or knife box or some weird thing like that. I have toyed around with that. I may be bringing that to the channel for like a month or two. I'll be honest, I almost pulled the trigger on this month's battle box. And if what I saw of their mission card of somebody who already got his Pro Plus, I'm glad I didn't. Nothing against battle box. I just, I don't like the items I saw in there. And I would have been really, really upset to spend that money on that. I'm still going strong with the PMP prep box. Jason's making some radical changes over there. And I can't wait to see this month's box. Everybody already knows two of the items in the box so I can't wait to see the rest I just I can't he's talking about you know making huge changes coming back giving the wow factor all right bring it Jason that's all I got is just bring it brother you know I got you back you know I'm gonna give you a fair and honest review even though I know you <laughs> and that, that's what's hard is Jason will take 100 compliments and not listen to him but he'll focus on that one bad feedback and it will get to him, and I don't like that because I think he's doing a good job overall. But, like I said, I have toyed with that knife box. Um, I briefly, briefly considered bringing barrel and blade back, but I don't like what I'm seeing in that box. I, I, I just, I don't. And I'll be honest, I haven't really been a huge fan of survival boxes. 
you know, that company where you get like the Alpha, the Bravo, the gear only, the gear only extra large, the water and food. I just, with the way mail's been going recently, I know if I got like any water packets in there, they'd probably show up shattered and everything would be all, you know, rusted out, just destroyed. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass. I'm sticking with the PMP prep box. I may bring back, may bring one other one to the channel. Don't know. And we usually wrap this up just like this, guys. If any of you have been watching for a while and you have any great ideas for the channel, go ahead, leave them down below. Leave comments. Okay, because you never know where the next great video idea is going to come from. And I have shot some videos recently because of feedback from you guys, which I just think is totally awesome. I love how you guys just interact. I love how you guys can call me out when I do something dumb. There's times, I swear to God, I wish some of you would get behind a camera and film your own damn video because it's like, no matter what I film, no matter how I film it, you're never going to be happy. And I think there's some people out there who just love to be trolls, but that's just my opinion. But there we go, guys. That's the best channel update that I can give you for March 2020. You know, those are the nine items that I really wanted to talk about. And those are the things I'm probably going to be focusing going on forward, especially that change in format. I still have videos shot in the old format, and I'm cleaning those out. It's just, <laughs> I can't get them out fast enough. And while I'm shooting new ones and trying to get that content out, you've got like new format, old format. And I know it gets confusing, but bear with me is all I can say. Now, we'll do the wonderful usual wrap-up because YouTube likes having that in there for some reason. Man, for you first-time viewers of the channel, you picked a weird video to start with. Seriously, you did. I know channel updates can be boring. I love doing them and giving you a peek behind the curtain. Hopefully, I earn more of your viewing time today. If not, I appreciate what you gave me. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, first thing I'm going to say is leave a comment down below why. What do I need to do to get your subscription? Then, look right there in that corner. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and destroyed that, please beat up its little brother, the notification icon. Looks just like a bell, if you so choose. Why? Great question. Because this can notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos, two will be popping up, you guys know, over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. Channel update for, you know, my YouTube channel, March 2020. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope all of you have an incredible day today.